What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So again, we're gonna be talking about Jasmine Coin in this video. And Jasmine Coin is something that, again, I've talked about previously. Um, someone has asked me um, a while back when we saw a way lesser supply, what I thought of Jasmine Coin. And somebody more recently said, you know, hey, what do you think about Jasmine Coin now? Um, it's at a way lower price. It can get back to some of these all time highs and you know, we'll be able to profit so much out of this. Um, and I have my opinions on it, right? Would it be able to get back to all time highs? I said it can, um, will it? I'm not 100% sure. I believe that Jasmine coin will make people a lot of money. Um, as I look at this, um, but we need to understand, um, all the pieces to that puzzle and how it gets up to that level. Um, and anything else that's happening within the roadmap, anything that's interesting. So <clears throat> anyways, Guys, if you want me to talk more about Jasmine, feel free to comment down below and let me know that you're interested in this position. I've seen some some views from it, so some people are interested in it. Um, I've seen some comments where people are like, "Hey, you know, mention Jasmine again. Let's talk about this. Let's let's break this down um, a little bit further." So if you guys want more of it, feel free to comment down below. I know there are scammers and spammers that are down there. I try to get them out, but they just keep coming back. So I'm I'm really trying to clean things up as the days go on, but I do upload a lot of videos. So I'll get maybe, um, I don't know, 300 comments a day uh, that are actual legit comments, but then you'll also get 300 spamming comments at which I have to clean those up. And then also <clears throat> the people that are trying to impersonate me. So it's definitely tough. Uh, bear with me. I'm trying to do it. And also we have moderators that that help out as well. Um, so it, it's just really tough to, to clean up everything. Cause even though you clean something up, they come right back. Um, but I appreciate you guys, uh, still commenting and still, um, you know, being a part of this channel. So thank you guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you guys want to check out some of the links that are down below for Twitter, for Patreon, um, you know, for some of the referral links, feel free to check those out. Um, those links are down there and I think they help you out as much as, you know, they help me out. <clears throat> so anyways, Jasmine coin is currently at, uh, 0 0.006 or 60% of a penny. Um, We've seen this in the last month uh, at a high of 80%, 83% of a penny, getting back to that penny level, at which we think that not only will this uh, surpass that penny level, but go a lot further than that, which we will explain a little bit more as we get into the breakdown for Jasmine Coin. Um, we have a $291 million market cap. So I think this definitely has room to grow, just getting up to a billion dollar market cap with the amount of people that are around this or surrounding this. Um, fully diluted market cap is a $308 million market cap. So not really much dilution that is there. That's a change from what we had way in the past where it was at like 10% of the total supply. Now you're seeing 95% of the total supply. So you're not seeing as much dilution. So again, to get into the supply, 47.3 or 47.4 uh, billion coins are out there and uh, in the circulating supply. Total supply is 50 billion coins or max supply 50 billion coins. Um, volume, you're seeing 56 million, which I would like to point out is more volume than what we're seeing with CRO. So definitely seeing a decent amount of volume for a, a coin that or a token that is ranked 132 by market cap. So definitely has a lot of promise. Um, and growth in the amount of people that are buying it and believing in it and holding the position. Now, speaking of holding, um, it only has a eight day typical hold time. So people are only holding for a short period of time, uh, which means that they are more day trading and swing trading it than they are long term investing into the position. Eventually that will change as people do see more promise into it. But as people are buying it, they may be buying like 100,000 and then selling 50,000, keeping an, another 50,000 in there for the long term, and then maybe seeing it come back to where they can buy again to see it run up. And then they just kind of repeat the process. So we're seeing a lot of people that are doing that that are day trading this and it's not a bad day trading position, to be honest. Um, but just make sure if you are doing that, that you save some for the long term, because you may get to a point to where it gets to a high level, you sell the position, it doesn't come back to a low level. And now you either don't have anything in there, or you have a very little bit in there. Now, if you have a very little bit in there, that could be worth so much more in the end. 
Um, but if you have nothing in there, then you're not gaining anything as things are running. So make sure that you're playing both sides of the coin, playing the long-term gain and the short-term gain uh, uh, game that's there. Um, so yeah, um, uh, eight days of typical hold time that is there. Now, another thing I want to point out is 99% of people are buying this versus 1% sell. So the people that are having these trading activities, you're seeing a lot of uh, buying um positions uh within this this play uh rather than the one percent selling uh positions that you see in here so not really day trading um on the negative side of things today seeing it up you know 2.8 percent uh as of what coinbase does say uh, coinbase says the popularity within this position is 77th so we're seeing a lot of volume that flows through it um, and that will contribute to the popularity not just the overall market cap that contributes to the popularity so seeing 57 uh, million dollars puts it above a lot of others in the form of popularity in that category of popularity now to get into more of the understanding of where this price can go we want it to get to a 50 billion dollar market cap right a 50 billion dollar market cap would be a one cent price um or sorry a one dollar price and a one dollar price would basically be at where i invested um it would be a 200 percent return a 200 per or not 200 percent 200 x return for me um so getting to a dollar would be a um fifty thousand dollars um or be fifty thousand dollar gain basically because i currently hold uh fifty thousand jasmine at which i paid 250 dollars for so it would be not only just a um a 100 x return which would be to uh, twenty five thousand dollars it would be a uh, 200x return, which would be $50,000 uh, up to some of those levels. So um, that's what I'm excited to see. I don't know if that will happen. I'm, I'm looking for tens of thousands of dollars worth of a gain and others are looking for uh, to become a Jasmine millionaire, right? They may have 3,000, 4,000, $10,000 invested into Jasmine, which is not a bad play, especially where it is at some of these prices. It's not a bad play. And if I had more money, I would invest more money into it. I would look to get um, 1 million Jasmine coin here because I do believe that this has more of a chance to get to some of these uh, higher numbers than some other plays that are there, especially with some of the news that comes from the roadmap, right? One of the, one of the uh, bigger points that a lot of people like to make is about the lockup that's supposed to happen. They're supposed to lock up uh, billions of coins. And if they're locking up billions of coins, that brings the ceiling, the price ceiling, um, or the market cap ceiling, um, or I guess the price ceiling, up a lot higher. So if you're looking at, let's say, 20 billion coins, that's only a $20 billion market cap. However, that still is a $20 billion market cap. So it would have to get there. Has it ever reached a $20 billion market cap? Well, if we look at history and we look at markets, or sorry, we look at history and we look at the market cap, we're gonna see that the highest point has been a $1.2 billion market cap. And um, that was before everything really started to crash in November. Um, we didn't get a chance to see where uh, Jasmine coin would be, where it would truly be with all of the different exchanges and all the volume that's coming on. So now we're seeing a little bit more volume. We're seeing all of the markets. We're seeing all of the pairings. Um, we're seeing more people that are getting involved in it. And also understanding that 100% of the supply is here, giving it nothing but um, upward momentum or a, a larger gain possibility for a lot of people. So while people are looking at this and sleeping on Jasmine coin, I feel like, uh, you know, it may be a play that can gain you something consistently in the form of a day trade or swing trade if you do play it the right way, um, or obviously long term to where you can gain a lot more within this play. And if I truly if I did have more money, I would be investing into it right now um, not saying that you invest into it you make your own decision based on some other research that you have within the project i have a lot of videos talking about the actual use case um, and information uh, behind the scenes and what it does not only just where the investment is but let's be honest we all care about really just the investment side because we're putting money in here to turn it into larger amounts of money that's pretty much what we're here for um, but I would say a little sliver of us also wants to be a, a big part of a successful project and be one of the major players in a project as well. Um, but anyways, Jasmine coin looks good. I'm, I'm hype about it. Um, I'm truly looking to invest more. And if it does stay around here, um, 
you know, after tax season, expect me to invest a little bit more into Jasmine coin and play this um, as a bigger play in my portfolio. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about some of the links that are in the description uh, for, uh, you know, referral links and, um, you know, anything else that's down there. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.